ships. These large floating boxes patrol the globe. They perform all sorts of functions, such as carrying people and carrying goods wherever they need to go. And it seems obvious that they'd be made of something malleable and strong like steel. And indeed, that's what we find. But it hasn't always been this way. Back in ancient times, ships used to be made out of wood. Now they're made out of steel. So people are always on the lookout for something new. And in the 1940s, in the middle of World War II, British engineer Geoffrey Pike thought that he had that next generation material, a mysterious substance that he called picrete. What is picrete? It's just simply a mix of water and wood pulp frozen. Hang on, he's making a ship out of, he's making a ship out of sawdust and ice. That can't be right. This, this sawdust and ice mix is stronger, as strong as concrete. Oh. So I think naturally, if you discover that if you just simply mix sawdust and water and freeze it, it's as strong as concrete, you've got to test it out for yourself, right? To the kitchen. So to make picrete, we're going to take a water to wood pulp mix. As you can see here, I have not got wood pulp from sawdust, but instead I have a shredder and I'm going to use the shreddings from that as a nice substitute. I have here two identical boxes, so we can also freeze one of pure water and then we can compare the strengths. So, after giving it a mix, into the freezer it goes. It's gonna take a while. Okay, so it's been a day, actually a couple of days, and we're back in the shed to see the results of that picrete. Okay, so I've got two blocks, block of ice, block of picrete. Um, we're gonna go over to the shed's high velocity impact research facility, i.e. the bench over there, and we're gonna see just how uh, much stronger the picrete is than the regular ice. It's quite cold. So I've got the ice, I've got the picrete. Obviously, Geoffrey Pike was looking at uh, how suitable they'd be for ships. I do not have any artillery shells to hand, but I do have the Mr. Pashler patented uh, bullet simulation device i.e. the tiniest hammer in the world. Okay, are we ready? That's regular ice. Now it's time for pie creep. <laughs> Seriously? Right, I'm not, I'm not skimping here. Like, that is legitimately ridiculous. Again, just for comparison, ice. Not even high. So, why don't you try making some pie creep yourself? That's no joke. <laughs> 